Hello Aquarius and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your Astro Tarot reading for the Cancer season, which kicks off the summer solstice on Tuesday, June 21st, when the sun enters Cancer at 5.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone on the planet. And we remain in Cancer season until July 22nd, on Friday when the Sun slides into Leo. So we have a Cancer new moon occurring on Tuesday, June 28th at 10.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and that's going to coincide with Neptune going retrograde in Pisces. So a great time for reviewing your dreams and also a great time to start something new, to start your new intentions. Um, then we have a super full moon in Capricorn on Wednesday, July 13th at 2.38 p.m. Again, Eastern Standard Time. And we have on the 4th of July, the United States of America is going to be experiencing its Pluto return in Capricorn. So we do have Pluto in retrograde in Capricorn. So I feel that the Capricorn super full moon is going to illuminate our progress, what we've been clearing out and making room for because the Cancer new moon is really going to give us that urge to like clear the clutter from our space to around our home, within our home and reclaim that space for something that we want to do. Uh, this could be uh, your meditation space, uh, your workspace, whatever kind of work you're going to be doing. Uh, it's probably going to be very creative because this is a fun filled time filled with creativity and creativity of course expands the mind with inspiration and ideas. So we do have three planets in retrograde. We have Saturn retrograde in Aquarius, in which many of you might be experiencing your Saturn return. So if you were born when Saturn was retrograde in Aquarius, as I was, you are experiencing your Saturn return. So this is a general tarot reading meant for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you because my tarot readings are meant to give you confirmation to what you already know or intuitively know. So let's get to it, Aquarius. start with look at this the gibbous moon you are very close to achieving your goals now this is just before the moon is full and then we have the third quarter moon adjustments are required this could be you reviewing your dreams re-evaluating again we have those three planets in retrograde and with retrogrades, we have those RE words like reflect, review, but also rejuvenate and relax. Then we have, oh, a new moon, a new moon in Libra with a new romantic cycle beginning. Okay. So we have you almost achieving your goals. Some adjustments are required and a new romantic cycle begins. Okay. I suddenly got, uh, with this adjustments are required, I feel almost like some of you are 
breaking up with someone because you fell in love with someone else. And, you know, you can't help who you love. You love who you love. Okay. And that could just be for some of you, Aquarius, not all of you. This is a general reading. Here we start off with the moon. Okay, so the moon is going to play a very strong impact with you in the Cancer season. Now, also keep in mind that the moon is the ruling planet of Cancer. Uh, so this is about your dreams as well as your emotions because the moon does move our emotions for good or bad. We are moved by the moon. And uh, here we're very close to achieving your goal. So I feel like that you're, you're getting really excited about being almost done with something or you're like at the end of the, a really long race where you're like, ah, oh, I don't have much more to go, but you make adjustments to your pace and you cross the finish line. Here we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, adjustments are required. And the Queen of Swords, what did I say? The Queen of Swords sometimes represents a breakup in a relationship, a loss, separation, divorce. So there could be some adjustments for some of you in that area of clearing something out of your life. Next, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, the knights are instigators of change. And here we have the knight of pentacles, but this has to do with what you're trying to manifest. You're very close to achieving your goal here with the knight of pentacles. It's asking you to be patient, waiting for the right time. This is also having specific skill sets that only you have. Not many people have these special skill sets and it could have you waiting for the right career opportunity or the right job opportunity coming your way. Next, we have the Seven of Cups. This is you dreaming, which complements this moon. So, you might want to keep a dream journal. You might be receiving a lot of answers in your dreams that are going to help you achieve your goals. Next, we have the Queen of Cups. This is ruled by Scorpio. She is very secretive. She's very intuitive. We have the two queens here. The Queen of Swords who is very blunt, precise, concise in what she says. Her words can be very cutting, very sharp. Then we have the Queen of Cups, who can be ambiguous and vague in the information she gives you because uh, some things you're just meant to figure out for yourself. So I do feel like that there's this balancing going on between your intuition and your intellect and it could be kind of a battle and that's why it might be important for you to start keeping a dream journal then we have strength with the knight of pentacles uh this is ruled by leo we do have a new romantic cycle begins this could be with a leo it most certainly could be with Aquarius because the Queen of Swords is ruled by Aquarius and the Queen of Cups is Scorpio. But this is a trump card. It's much more powerful. So this could also just be the strength of being patient and waiting for the right moment because you're so close to achieving your goal here. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my goodness, this is ruled by Capricorn. So the Capricorn super full moon could have a very profound effect upon your dreams. She's also very much about the community. Um, 
we also have, I get like dream job. You're, you're dreaming up the right job for you, yourself. Um, you're dreaming up your own career. Uh, you're going after your dream career, something along those lines. Next, we have the King of Staffs. This is ruled by Aries. Um, he's a problem solver. He also is a no-nonsense kind of person. Um, very organized and very straightforward. So this, we have the logic, the intuition, and the king of staffs, which is ruled by Aries, that spark that sets off the astral wheel, a new beginning. You know, there's some adjustments required. So there's obviously some problem solving, some things that need to be taken care of. And the king of wands is coming in to help you with that. Then we have the High Priestess with, uh, who is an extension of the Queen of Cups. They're both highly intuitive. Uh, the High Priestess is the keeper of the Akasha records, uh, your soul records, also of histories and prophecies. So there might be something there that is strong it's giving you some kind of strength perhaps a deeper understanding of knowledge because this is also about hidden knowledge uh it gives you this strength and suddenly the what popped into my mind was the coral palace uh the man who built that coral palace for his uh, loved one for his wife and he said that he knew the secrets of how the Egyptians built the pyramids and it was about leverage and electromagnetism so there's something that you know it's ancient knowledge but you're going to apply it in a new way which is what Aquarius is all about the Aquarian age, the individual, also computers. You're also ruled by Uranus, so you tend to shake things up. Let's look at your sweet dreams since we do have the summer's, midsummer's evening with the summer solstice. Peace, I create peace, prosperity, and joy in my life. You're very close to achieving that goal. And then we have for your moon magic. Let's see what we have here for Aquarius. Here is your artwork and you have the blue moon. I enjoy the serendipity of life. The unexpected can be wonderful. Okay, so I almost get the feeling that this new romantic cycle that's going to begin was unexpected for some of you. Those of you who were um, in a partnership, but then you met somebody and... You, you just fell in love with them, and that's the adjustment that's required. But it's unexpected and wonderful, this new romantic cycle. This could also be somebody that you meet at the workplace, because we do have uh, some pentacles here. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles. It could also be that the other person is in a relationship already, and they need to make that adjustment as well so you two can be together. I don't know why that's coming through. I'm just telling you what is coming through. So that's all a message probably only meant for a few of you or one. So let's look at your blessings here.
Okay, a blessing on your boundaries with number 33. This is also a master number. So there's peace here with prosperity, joy in your life. Um, it seems like that you're having to let somebody know about your boundaries. Perhaps that's what this queen, perhaps this is an unwanted <laughs> uh, romantic uh, situation here for some of you where somebody's pursuing you, but you're not interested in them and you're having to set up boundaries. Um, for some of you, this could again be, you know, when you break up with someone, you have to establish those boundaries because you're not as close as and intimate as you once were. This can also have to do with friendships as well. And then we have a blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. Okay, so there is something, there is a separation here, whether it's with family, friends, or a job. There is something that is having to be cleared away and i wouldn't be surprised if a lot of it has to do with that pluto retrograde in capricorn and it i feel like it's going to be illuminated for you by the super full moon in capricorn but look at both of these people they're ready for battle you're setting up your boundaries your perimeters for a battle that can't be avoided. So this could be you also breaking off from uh, a company that you work for to pursue your own dreams, to pursue your own path. Because we do have this high priestess here um, where you might also, some of you, might feel like that you're under psychic attack because we do have this queen of cups, the high priestess, and the setting up of boundaries. So you might want to do a smudging, do a clearing, and set up a psychic boundary around your property because cancer does rule the fourth house, which is the home area, how we live, where we live. Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that it was helpful for you. There are wonderful surprises here. There is serendipity. It's just that you have to get through. This is that adjustment that's required, this battle that, that can't be avoided. You'd like to, but you can't. But it looks like that you're being well prepared. You are going in well prepared with um but there is separation you know it's coming and it's just a matter of making the adjustment so it's a balanced uh situation this could also be for some of you having you know with the boundaries i wonder if for some of you or a few of you this might have something to do with a restraining order as well so I'm going to end your reading here, Aquarius. Again, I hope that it was helpful and beneficial for you. And thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And please feel free to share this video with others if you think they might enjoy it. Uh, please leave any feedback or tarot-related questions in the comments down below. And I'll try to do a video on your question. And until next time, take care.